Hi, and in this video I'm just going to talk about how you can get Ubuntu, or another Linux distribution, set up on a virtual PC. So, because I have Windows 7, um, I got the professional edition, which means I have this XP mode feature. So I get this special download of virtual PC. If you can get this, you can get it. Um, to get this page, I just typed... Um, what did I type in? I typed in XP mode download into Google. Or if you can't get that, then you can get Virtual PC 2007, which you get obviously by typing that in Google or finding the page in Microsoft. Or, but you know, it's pretty simple. Basically, you just search using the search terms. So that's the first thing you'll need. The second thing you'll need is the ISO file of your Linux distribution. So at the moment, I've just got the Ubuntu download open, and you can just download the ISO file from there. Now, I've already got all this set up, so I can just minimize the browser. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create a new virtual machine. Now, this will be slightly different in the Virtual PC 2008, sorry, 2007, but basically, you just open up and click New, and you'll get the same kind of things, but it'll be slightly different. So, name, Ubuntu machine, location, you can choose whatever location you like. Mine's decided to default to there, which is where I want it. Just click next. And how much RAM you want to give it. So I'm going to give mine 1,024 megs. If you haven't got as much RAM to spare, you might want to not give it that much. And yeah, we're just going to keep all these settings the same. And okay, so it starts off powered down. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into its settings by right clicking it and clicking settings. And in its DVD drive, we're just going to change it to an ISO image. So basically, um, it would be like inserting the ISO image burnt onto a disk into its disk drive, but we don't need to burn it onto a disk. So I've literally just got mine. I'm going to use this 10.04 Ubuntu ISO file. And I'm going to press OK. And we can now boot up the machine. And it should load up in a sec. And here it is. You might just have to wait a while while it does its thing. But basically what this is going to do is as I said, I'm going to go through the Ubuntu steps. There will be different steps with different Linux distributions. And obviously, if you're using a completely different type of operating system, then it'll be, you know, different altogether. But basically, it should be quite a simple GUI that you just have to follow through. And if you didn't know what a GUI is, it's a graphical user interface. So, you know, it's just going to be like proper buttons and everything. Although, with some distributions, it might not be buttons. There may be. Um, and have one of those keyboard setups where you can only use the keyboard. But uh, Ubuntu is a great operating system, and it's especially you know because it's free, it's open source, you can modify it, and it's just a nice system to work with. Although I personally don't don't use it for a uh, primary system. Uh, just wait a while. There will be a lot of waiting involved during this uh, whole thing. But you know, that's kind of what you expect when you're installing an operating system. Okay, this looks like it's almost done. Okay, it's got a slightly bigger window. I don't know why it thinks my performance is slow, it's not. Windows 7, you don't know what you're on about. And some more waiting while we're looking at this blank screen. And here we go, we have the general Ubuntu default background. So let's just click into here. Okay, it just says here to release. We press Control, Alt, and the left arrow. Okay, so we have our mouse. We can move it around in our virtual machine. 
and we should get a GUI in a sec. Here we go, our little install window. And you'll notice with Ubuntu Windows we have the cross and the um, other buttons in this little corner, whereas with Windows you have it in this right hand corner. So I'm going to click install instead of trying it out. But if you want to try it out, then you can just click the try button. Obviously, adjust these settings if you need to. Mine are fine. And same thing here, if you need to adjust that, then you can. And don't get worried when it says erase and use the entire disk. It doesn't mean your disk, it means the virtual disk. So don't get scared and think it's going to wipe out all your stuff. It's not. It's referring to the virtual disk. So you can just press forwards. And we can wait a little longer. And here we go. So we have some more details. Just filling your name. Password. Is that everything? Yep. Forward. And finally, our install button. Okay, so I'm just going to release my mouse. Or is it Control Alt Left? There we go. So now we just wait a while while it installs. Now I'm probably just going to cut out this area when it's installing, but. You'll see again after it's finished installing, and I'll talk to you what to do next. Okay, so it's finally done. I'm just going to put my cursor back in. And it wants me to restart, so I'll just tell it to do that. And it's restarting. And we can do some more waiting. It's stopping some things in the console. Please remove the disk from the disk tray. Alright, so let's try and release our mouse. Control Alt Left. And we should probably. Which one is it in here? Tools, Settings, DVD Drive. Yeah, good. Okay, now we can just go back in here and press Enter. And it's now going to restart. We just had to double check that the ISO file was definitely no longer in the virtual drive. But luckily it was clever enough to take it out for me. Okay, so it's just booting up. Okay, let's just wait for it. Capture a mouse. And it's turned into a slightly bigger window. With our classic Ubuntu background. And here we go. This is Ubuntu. So my user is Joe, so I can just click on that. And I can input to my password. Hit login. And hopefully we should be loading up Ubuntu. It is as simple as that. All we did is follow the very simple steps. The only bit you might um, find a tiny bit harder is obviously putting the ISO file into the virtual drive. So that's the end of this. You now have a complete version of Ubuntu set up on your virtual machine. So have fun with it and have a nice day.